Okay, we're standing next to this incredible Amer cork tree, just south of the Sir William Dog Run. This is called a cork tree because the bark looks so corky. And the Latin name Phelodendron, Phelo meaning cork and dendron tree. But this is not the tree we get cork from. We get the cork from an oak tree that grows in Portugal. It's native to the Amur River Valley in Siberia. It's native to Japan, China, and is a revered medicinal tree. But the same chemicals that are used to heal humans kill all the good little microbes that keep the soil healthy. And for that reason, it's been deemed an invasive. The female Amor cork trees have been banned in many states. This is called a dioecious tree. So there's a female tree that bears fruit, berries, and then there's the male tree that bears the pollen. The birds love the berries. They eat the berries, they fly away, they poop out the seed with a little bit of fertilizer and a new Amor cork tree grows. And so it's actually a very beautiful tree. It's tall. It has a huge crown. The leaves have now fallen off. This is a tree that bears compound leaves. So this is a compound leaf, pinnate compound, so it looks like a feather shape. The whole thing is a leaf, and all the tiny leaves on the side of the stem are called leaflets. You can see where it attached to the branch. That's called the pulvinus. And growing up the side is an ivy that's bearing all kinds of berries that the birds will eat too. That's one good thing about some of the ivy, like poison ivy. It, it's terrible for us, but the berries are highly nutritious for birds, so it's, and it's a native plant. Mm -hmm.